Adjectival slash relative clause, adjectival clauses function as adjectives in sentences. In other words, like adjectives, they usually qualify nouns or its equivalents, pronouns. Adjectival clauses are introduced by relative pronouns, relative adverbs, and relative adjectives such as who, whom, which, that, whose, when, where etc. Note that, 1. Who and whom modify nouns or pronouns that refer to human beings. 2. Which is only used for nouns or pronouns that refer to animals and non-living things. 3. Whose and that are used for nouns and pronouns that refer to both human beings, animals, and objects. Consider the following relative clauses. 1. This is the teacher who leaves outside the school. 2. He is the landlord whom I told you about. 3. They have gone to the village where they kept their bags. 4. The student whose father is a clergyman is not in school today. 5. She comes to our house when everybody is out. 6. The television which is made in Japan is his. Grammatical analysis, from above, all the underlined expressions are relative or adjectival clauses. Each of them modifies a noun which comes before it. Noun clause a noun clause is regarded as a noun but contains a finite verb. Thus a noun clause functions the way a noun functions in a sentence, such as an object, subject, or complement of a sentence. They are usually indicated by the interrogative words which include what, whom, how, why, whether, whatever, whomever etc. Examples 1. How he won the trophy is surprising. 2. That he finished the food is a shocker to me. Functions of the noun clause 1. Subject of sentence, as in Why he behaved like that is not yet known. 2. Object of a verb as in I don't know how he emerged the winner. 3. Object of preposition as in His case is that of whom he will marry not money. 4. Complement of subject slash object slash linking verb, as in, his effort made him whom he has dreamt for. 5. A positive as in, the reason why he acted like a madman, is yet to be known.